Okay, when you get your bus, probably one of the first things you're gonna have to figure out is like the insurance and the title and the registration. So let's talk about all that. First things first, insurance. Before you drive your brand new beautiful baby off of the lot, make sure you added it to your insurance. My insurance is through Geico. So I just called them up and added a new vehicle onto my policy. You just add it as a regular vehicle. In the future, once you convert it into your beautiful, magnificent, amazing tiny home, then you'll re-register and re-insure it as an RV. But until then, it's just a vehicle. Title and registration. So this is really gonna depend on your specific situation, but I'll just tell you my experience since that's what I know. I purchased this bus from a transit company. They're a non-dealer, so that makes the title and registration pretty simple. They just sign the title over to moi, and when they do that, the registration and the plates come with the vehicle. So I just have to just drive away, happy as a little bumblebee, and I got my tags and everything all in order. When they sign the title over to you, um, they release the commercialness of the vehicle. Make sure you take the decals off the side. This had first transit decals on the side of the bus and I had them take those off before I drove it off the lot because uh, I'm not a commercial driver. Now, for one reason or another, you want to insure and register it in another state than where you bought it from. You can do that because that's what I'm doing. I purchased the bus in California where I am now and I'm getting everything done in North Carolina. Let's just go through it. Insurance, add it to the insurance policy in the state where everything's gonna end up in. So even though right now the bus has California plates and registration, I added it to my North Carolina auto policy. And according to the authorities, that is okay. You can do that. Re-registering it in a different state. Call the DMV of the state that you want to register it in and get a checklist of everything that they need to transfer the title and registration to that new state. So I called North Carolina DMV and they'll tell you exactly what you need to send. So I send the original title to them, a title application, copy of my insurance and driver's license, some disclosure statements. Some of these things you're actually gonna need to fill out with the seller. So make sure you get the checklist before you do your whole deal with the seller. Oh, and don't forget the money, honey. They want the money. I know some of this can be scary and overwhelming, but just dive in, do the research. If you can dream it, you can do it, baby. I truly believe that. So good luck. If you have any questions, let me know. Ricka, ricka. Okay, update. Two months went by and I finally got this thicky, thick package from the DMV. And I'm like, yeah, my title's here. But it's not, this is actually just everything I sent them. They sent it back with this letter saying, I didn't send them enough money. So even though I called so many times to quadruple check that I was sending the right amount, sometimes the people on the phone just don't know. I'll be patient, but hopefully in two more months, I'll have my title.